He said, Art, and he's still running, and he's going to be close to a first down. So give credit to the quarterback, Ryan Wassel, the junior. And uh, he looked like he was stopped after about a five or six yard gain, still got another two yards out of it. Give him a fourth and three at the Warrior 43, and they're going to try to set up real quickly here and not let the Warrior sub out. Maybe draw them off. This looks like a team that has drilled a lot of uh, formations this week, a lot of quick counts. That formation got that one receiver split to the near side. The timeout Northwest. That'll be their first and the second half. So nice scramble by Wassel. Get six, seven yards, give them a make of a fourth and third. And they set up real quick so the Warriors couldn't set up, set up, uh, sub out. And it looked like they were trying to draw them off sides. And they couldn't do that at the time. Has, like, I was coached by, uh, learned that play from uh, an old Warrior coach. By the name of Paul Moranga, they used Paul to have Moranga, uh, yeah. shift the punch formation or uh, IR, right? Yep. <laughs> they haven't pulled that yet, but there, there was no shift the punch formation. So I think uh, coming into this game, the Warriors had to be a little concerned coming off a high, a big win against the state ranked team. And, uh, but the Warriors, and especially this, this group of players, has not been the type of team to ever play down to an A-level competition. And this team is 2-0, even though they're, a, they're an A-level team. And uh, you know, they took the first punch that Northwest gave, which resulted in the field goal. And they've come back with 20 unanswered points. So, uh, doing what they need to do to win. A lot of things I think coaches are going to find on film that he's going to want to work on. But uh, right now, the Warriors are up 20 to 3 and looking to keep Northwest from converting a critical fourth down here. Fourth and three. There's the give to May. Caleb Graham has him. And he's going to be close to the line of scrimmage. It looks like they the gave it to down, him. Nick Elko. They gave it to him. So a big strike hit first down. So challenging that Warrior defense. I would like to debate that myself. But, uh, George May with the first down. So a big, uh, big conversion here. That Northwest. official uh, gave them some uh, footage, let's put it that way. As they try to fight back from a 17-point deficit after going up 3 nothing initially. And he's got that hard county. He's, he's almost drawing guys off every time. High formation. Vossel takes the snap. He gives to the second back through. That's May again. And he is over right side before Caleb Graham, F.J. Buccini. Jacob Williams, Darren Rodney come up to tackle him. Right down Second and six. So 5'9", 230. Hard, hard man to knock off his feet and keep that positive momentum Graham. going. In. He's doing a nice That's job running against this Warrior defense. Second and six now at the Warrior 35-yard line. He's, you can see, you can see even here, he's got that hard count going. Some plays they run on first, first count. Really trying to uh, draw that Warrior defense offside. There's the give to the first man through. That's Baberski. The other uh, like fullback. They have like two fullbacks there back with Wassel. One yard Looking like they're uh, trying to soften up that Warrior front line. That only got about a yard that time. Make it 36. Nick Elko will check out. Enzo Scott of is going to check in. 2:01 left in the third quarter. Warriors lead 23. And Northwest has a third and six. They have to get to just inside the 30 for a first down. Wassel will fake, and he's got a screen over the middle, and he's stuck, but it was still caught. The number 85. So somebody got a hand up there, but there wasn't enough to. Uh, Prevents out of key to see hung in there. Got it. Big third down conversion for Northwest. At the Warrior 24 yard line. There's now 134 left in this third quarter. So nice play call there by Coach Hasler. Now he's going to have the 
receivers at the far end, near side. He's got May behind him. He'll give it to May over right side. He's pushing. After initially being slowed yeah, by number 71, Tom Wykoski, Charlie Banaszewski, who's had a nice game for the Warriors tonight. And you know, they're on the stop. And that's only going to be a yard. As this Warrior defense looks to stiffen. One yard game on play, second down. Keep Northwest from getting within two scores as we close out this third quarter. Ball spotted at the 28, second and nine. That's number three, JT Brubaker. He's had a couple catches. He'll split to the far side. Number nine, Mike Crawford is on the near side here. Wow, end around now to Brubaker. Flea flicker, he's looking deep for number nine. Jacob Williams. Looks like he's going to get a ball for pass. Interference there. So an end around to Brubaker, and Brubaker looking to get the flea flicker to uh, number nine, Mike Crawford. Jacob Williams is back there, back with him. Warriors are going to get called for pass interference. And spot the ball first and ten at the Wyoming area 12. So like you said, Coach Hazlitt, pulling out the bag of tricks. That's the coach So good, 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 good check for this Warrior defense now. Now they got that power eye formation. Wassel's going to take it himself over center. He's got three, maybe four yards for F.J. Puccini. Knocks him off his feet. From the 12 to the 9, we'll call it, call it 3. Second and long 6. We'll come off the field now. That's the, oh, that's the end of the uh, third quarter. With the score, the Warriors 20. Northwest 3, but driving. Gary was the end of the final play of the third quarter. With the score. Hey, Tom, three. thanks. Yeah, Tom, final Tom is close. 20. 20 to 3. End of the third quarter, Warriors lead. So we apologize, we did lose connection. I know people are, picture doesn't look too bad here, but like I said, we're right on top of the internet connection here. That was afforded to us by Northwest, so we're certainly appreciative of that. Before we go out, the signal may not be as great. Uh, but we'll bring you what we can as we always do. This is our first night with this software, with this video camera. Unfortunately, we're doing it uh, in an area which is known for con connectivity issues, but uh, bring it away camp. So uh, we did uh, we did miss the onside most kick. recent touchdown. We missed the onside kick. Northwest did an onside kick to start the second half. They recovered at the 40. Two plays later, Darren Rodney a big interception along the near sideline. And Corey Maruk working towards that west end zone and a 56-yard touchdown. Nice carry. Or the right side, which maybe you'll see later on YouTube if I upload the full video. But uh, that made it 8 3. Willow Harrells with a two point conversion. Now, Northwest has been driving after third catch in near midfield. They've driven 32 yards now to the Warrior lead as we begin the fourth quarter. They have second and six. And the Warrior eight. Ross has got that power eye with the Bursky as the deep back. And he's going to give around right side. That was sniffed out very well. Shot the gap. By Dylan Williams, Enzo Scotto Delugio. Somebody's down for the Warriors. Loss of about three yards there. Was he listening? I did. Warrior players in the Waving. Trainer Uh oh. Who is that? I don't know. So, yeah. so we have a warrior down. We never know who it is. Just hope for the best. We don't want to identify anybody and 
get any family members upset that it's our policy. We always turn away. Let the trainers do their work. No. Trainers and coaches are over there now. No. Just joining us, we just that was just the first play of the fourth quarter. The Warriors lead 20 to 3. We'll give you a scoring update. To open the contest, Northwest had a 13 minute drive, 30 minutes plus. Bogged down. Jack Westwood, 39 yard field goal. So they went up 3 0 on the Warriors after not scoring a point last year against the Warriors in a 55 0 loss. So they served notice on the Warriors that they were here to play. And after that, uh, on the ensuing kickoff, Leo Harris had a 56 yard kickoff return. And uh, that was followed by a Corey Maruk 15-yard touchdown run. Kick was blocked for a 6-3 Warrior lead. And that was with 9.29 left in the half. And with 5.45 left in the half, Corey Maruk had a 16-yard touchdown. Two-point conversion was no good. That's how the half ended 12-3. Then as Craig just mentioned, uh, we lost connection at the start of the second half. Northwest had an onside kick. Which they recovered. And Darren Rodney had an interception at his own 40. That's followed two plays later by Corey Maruk. 56 yard touchdown run. So the senior has probably well over 100 yards rushing tonight and three touchdowns. The two point conversion to Leo Harris was good. And it's 23. Now Northwest is uh, about 38 yards into this drive. They're faced with a third and 10. There, Rymier 11. With the Rymier player down and being attended to by the training staff. He's up on his feet. We could see uh, pretty clearly that that's going to be up Jay Buccini and he's uh, favoring that right leg. But he's walking off under his own power, which is a good sign. So we'll, we'll hope for, for the best for, for that scene. Big game last week against Grant Prep, obviously. We never want to identify a player unless we can clearly see it. We know, we know how FJ, uh, he's got the helmet off. That's number 36. He's off under his own power, so that's good. So, Referee will start the clock. We're down to 11.45 left. Wassel will have a single setback with him. That's the first one. He's got receiver split to the near and far side. He's going to roll right now. He's under some heavy pressure. And he barely gets an offense intercepting. That looks like Dylan Williams. And he's going to go all the way. Untouched. 90 yards down the left sideline. I don't know who got a hand on it. But Dylan Williams came up with it. And that's certainly an answer to uh, an upstart team trying to fight back their way into this game. Dylan Williams from his left end position, 90 yard touchdown, interception return. A lot of that return. was caused by the linebacker shooting the gaps. Both linebackers shot the gaps with excessive pressure on their quarterback. The quarterback just, to get rid of it, lofted it over to the side, to the, to the flat, and he just stepped right in front of it and ran for, for how many yards? Just by not, not sure who tipped it, we didn't see that, but the Dylan Williams did come down with the line in the stream. 11.22 left in the contest. I'm gonna give him 90 yards. Even if it was 88, I'm gonna give him 90. It deserves to be 90 in the favor. So, no, nice play by the uh, senior defensive end. Not sure who got in, but like you said, they shot the gap. And, uh, Wassel was set upon very quickly. He had a roll to his right. And, uh, somebody got a hand on it. Tipped it right into the waiting arms of Dylan Williams. Here's the kick by Stanley Madursky. And that's good, and the Warriors go on top 27 to 3 with 11.22 left in the contest. So, that's going to take a little bit of the steam out of this Northwest team, which has been very impressive uh, with their level of uh, character and fight. 
tonight. That's what happens. I mean, you just uh, play a talented team and get into a, a obvious passing situation where a good pass rush can kind of pin back their ears and force a quarterback to do something a little sooner than he wants to, and it results in a turnover and a score. And those are the best kind of turnovers, the ones that result in scores. And that's what it was for Ryan Neary in 90 and yards still on the interception return for Dylan Williams. So 27-3 with 11-22 left. That is the blue ticket. Let's see what the Bears have to do here. If you have that number, please report to the press box. So Russell will be set with the kickoff as I'm not going to score them, right? Good kickoff. deep to the five-yard line. That's Wessler. He is going to break it back towards the middle. Vincenzo Jambra. We'll hit him down. Charlie Van Schiske. So they'll set up shop. Northwest will be first down in 10 at their own 26 yard line. At the 26 yard line, as you hear from the public address announcer. Warriors up 24 to 3. Craig, I guess they're going to they're gonna have to go to the air more. Yep. So we'll see. Uh, how they fair. I have to give credit here to Northwest's uh, new stadium. It feels beautiful. awesome. It is beautiful. One receiver split to the far side. Wessler's going to give to, that looks like Paberski. He stood up by Dominic DeLuca. Drew Maroc now in there. Uh, number 21. So DeLuca and Maroc on the tackle. Gain of about four or five. Four yard gain on the play. First down run by Northwest. Second and five, but time starts to be their enemy. Uh, under 11 minutes left in the end of the fourth quarter. They trail 27 to 3. Wessler will send Drew Baker, Savakinis to the far side. He's going to get to the first back through. And that's uh, Bogursky. So bring up a manageable third and three for the Rangers as number 88, that's Jordan Limbach, who checks in for the Rangers. He will take a spot here on the near side. He's the long receiver. High formation. He's going to go in motion. Wassel will give to the second back through. And he's going to be close to that first down as he's ridden down by Graham and Drew Maruk. And he will move the chains with that. So, had some success running the ball tonight against this Warrior defense. That's a first down at the 37 yard line. But obviously, they got to look to pick up points there. Instead of first downs. So, that was three carries, but at eight, almost two minutes off the clock. So we'll see if they try to play off that runner, try to hit a big one up top. That's Limbach. He is split to the near side here. Now he's covered by Darren Rodney. He'll be kicked in motion again by Wassel. Wassel will turn and fake, and now he's going to go around right in. He's got a few yards before. Is that Charlie Benicheski? No, that's uh, Leo Harris. He came up and made a textbook form tackle. He was trying to find room. Along the right sideline, and that's going to be a loss. A couple of yards there, some nice tackle by Leo Harris from his uh, safety position. There. Came up, got beyond the line of, behind the line of scrimmage, and went low on Wassel. He was trying to find some running room along that right sideline. Stopped him for a two yard loss, and we're down under 840 now left in the contest. The Warriors lead 27 to 3. Let's see our buddy Carl checking in. Hopefully he's got a chance to watch us in between glitches. Here's the give to uh, Dabursky. He's got three or four yards. 
over center. Man on the carry. And the Warriors are saying they recovered that. Nick Elko, Donald Toluca had it in his hands, but it looks like it was blown dead. So after the uh, second and 12, a five yard carry there. Oh, it's Bursky. They have to get to the 47 yard line. So third and, seven. third and a long seven. We're now 7.52 left in this contest. The Warriors lead 27. Hey, I don't see much of Limbach, but he looks like the lone receiver now in this set. And here's a gift to Roberski around the right side, and he's got the first down. Close to midfield. There's some hey, extracurricular the activities here. There's a flag. Leo Harris. There's, there's a flag. So we'll see who they call it on. But uh, the result of the play was Paberski for the first down. That's a nice carry. We got a face mask on the Warriors. Face mask while the area. Official will march that off to the Wyoming area 47 yard. Carry and resulting penalty. Northwest, first down. There's a lot of things about this game that the coaches don't like. A lot of those things are centered on penalties. Look at the. It's all things that they can grow from. Go Rangers! Go! Bossel on your center. Looks like the Warriors are stacking up for the run there. And that's blown dead. You got a timeout on the Warriors. So. Coach Fonte, uh, he has a field charge of the Warriors. I think uh, Coach Fonte well, on top of the press box. Coach well, we we might be back on the sidelines. I'm not sure. Well, we can't see from our vantage point because we're on the home sideline. Somebody call a timeout. Somebody wants to gain composure on that defensive side of the ball. Wants them to finish strong. Yes, they're up 27-3. Uh, Northwest really hasn't passed in this possession, uh, but uh, still want to finish strong. Warriors moved the ball when they had to, moved the ball on the ground, nice. Corey Moore having the type of game we've come to expect from him and see from him many times. Uh, haven't had to pass the ball for the pass, I don't know. Well, Brian Williams has a one catch here. Haven't had to pass There's the ball a couple, much. Couple, yeah. uh, there, there, during that melee of uh, yeah. penalties, yeah. there was a great play by no, Brian Williams no, right. that was called no, back. Right. Right. So after the Warrior timeout, Northwest offense returns to the field. Running that single set receiver, single receiver set that they've run this entire possession with I formation. Seeing him in motion again. It's Limbaugh. Snap and give us to the second back through. That is Bursky, Darren Rodney in there, Here first man in there for the Warriors. The There's Charlie Banaszewski. Really want to recognize Charlie Banaszewski. He's, he's had quite a few tackles from that linebacker spot. He was injured much of the year last year. He has had a nice game for the Warriors. But he stopped the big uh, George May there. Those guys confused. So stopped George May there for no the game. So leave a procedure in. Because of the loss Second down. of two that, yards. That's probably the first penalty call that, yeah. against Northwestern yeah, today. Might be. Second and 12 now for Northwest. Six forty-nine left in the contest. Warriors are up 27 to 3. Northwest trying to get back on the board here. And somebody's in the backfield quickly. That's Drew Maruck. Wassel setting up and he's looking at the Get a pass over in the left flat here to number one. That's Chase Miller, which he does. Made a nice uh, five or six yard play out of that when he was under heavy pressure. And here's some good news. F.J. Puccini checking back into the game. So initially when he went down, people were waving the trainer over. He's back in the game. So that's good news for the Warriors. Northwest has to get to the 37 yard line. Ball sits on the 42 yard line. So third and, third and a long five. Russell under center. 
We'll take and give to, that's May. And Darren Rodney, Caleb Graham. May, having none of it. And no, we'll actually lose two one. yards on that, so Rodney. good. Good right edge penetration from Caleb Graham. Darren Rodney Graham. stood him up. And Darren Rodney helped him. Fourth down, Doing that seven. Big uh, fullback hybrid carrier and down for a loss. Fourth and seven now for Northwest. And if they're going to uh, stay in this game, they need a conversion here and a score shortly after. And it looks like they're bringing the punter up. So 517 left. You said one of the better uh, kick specialists we've seen. Let's see if they have a fake here. No, he's going to kick it. And that's going to go end over end, and that goes into the end zone for a touchback. But that was close to hitting in front of the pylon and pinning the Warriors back inside their own five. And what a nice kick from he's got to be tired Jack right Kessler. Most of these Northwest players you know? not, have not come out of the game. I'll tell you what, I give them a lot of credit. Yes. They played very spirited, looked like they prepared uh, quite a bit for this game. It's a different hard calls, different formations. It's a very impressive team. There's, uh, it's not hard. 31 players in their team. It's not hard to see why they beat Lackawanna Trail in the first uh, first game. It's hard to put a team on the field with that many players. And I like what Coach Haslam's doing. He's trying to build up uh, an A. Power like uh, along the lines of Lackawanna Trail and Old Forge. Deluca is still in the game and he gives to Leo Harris over the right guard. He's got about four or five yards to the uh, 25 yard line. Hey, next week we'll be at Nanticoke. Heroes on the carry. Not sure what they did tonight. We'll be back home in two weeks. And so, Tim Canick, Tigers, and they'll bring in former Warriors. Mark Zipper, Bill Pabula on the coaching staff, so it'll be nice to see those guys back. 428 left in the contest. luca has got Ruck and Harris. Trying to do and in the box there. Harris cuts back over to the left side. He made the most of that ball, and he's got a first down carry. Up over the 35 to the 36 yard line. Billy Pabula Don't mark is, it at the 38. Is coaching at 10 yeah, yeah, on the carry? I did not know yeah. that. Back down by number 62, Wilson. He was a senior in the So first down at the 38 yard line for the Warriors on a nice carry by Leo Harris with 404 left. Riley Wilson is going to split to the near side. Brian Williams will split to the far side. Dominic DeLuca takes the snap. He's looking for Brian Williams in the left flat, and he's got to catch and run for a first down before he's ridden out of bounds there. Williams on the reception. First down. They can throw that every single play. They're staying so far off Williams. Yeah, about a set. Yeah, they're respecting his. Oh, the the Ranger, 45. They're giving him about a 17 yard catch and run off that pass. 3.48 now left in the contest. At the Northwest uh, 45, first and 10 for the Warriors. Fluka rolls right. He's looking for Williams again along that left sideline. And he makes the catch. It's a pretty catch. At the 35 yard line. First down. Close to the first. About a nine yard catch. Nine man. yard gain on the play. Second down. Nice catch by Brian Williams. A nice uh, awareness of where he was on the sidelines to get both feet in just after he secured the ball. I think he learned that after his brother from last week. His yeah. younger brother's catch. Yeah, he made a similar catch to that. Huh? Much, you know, much harder catch than that. So the Warriors, no one's going to need that pass game as we get into further into the season. Luke is going to call his own number. He's going to hurdle a couple of Northwest Rangers before he's brought down in a pile of about four or five there. That's Baberski, that's May. Good for eight yards. Uh, Savakinas. Like you said, so, so many of these guys playing the both ways. This is definitely that's the first down carry for the Luka. we got 329 left. But, uh, I have to be impressed with the Northwest Rangers. I'm certainly going to keep an eye on them the rest of the season. See how they fare in this last season in the Wyoming Valley Conference before they go to the Northern Tier, where I think they have every chance of being a, a power in that league. And a highly ranked A-level team. 
DeLuca is going to do some play action, and he is going to be set up on the floor. He kind of passes the ball to Nasir Kondry. I don't know if that's legal or not. There's a flag, but the, Nasir Kondry did the most of it and got in the end zone. I don't know what they're going to call it there. Luca rolled to his left. He was under heavy pressure. He was hit by Jack Wessler, who's the kicker. That's just a kicker. Illegal punch, Wyoming area. That was the fumble. But they're interpreting that as a pass. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big hand. This is the Nellis Warriors. Yes. But no, yeah. shovel fans. Yeah. Oh, so it's coming back. What? Nasir Kondry made a bid for uh, enemy squad fullback this, <laughs> this week with a nice 30-yard uh, run there. He ran through some uh, Northwest Rangers, so he might be looking to get off that offensive line spot. We know how that works, though. Until As we're in the double digits on penalties on Wild Area. He's actually a right tackle, I think. So they'll so work that back at the 40, 41 yard line. So three minutes left here in this contest. And uh, like I said, I don't, they'll be satisfied with the outcome, but not satisfied I, with I a guess, lot of aspects. I guess they would have had the bounce pass that time. Uh, yeah, to make it legal. To make that legal. Let's see, uh, yeah, Condry, he is the right guard. So from his, actually he's the right tackle. DeLuca rolling left, and he is looking deep for Riley Russin, and he comes down with the catch, and he's touchdown! Five yard, runs five yards in. 45 yard touchdown pass, DeLuca to Riley Russin. DeLuca's pass attempt is complete to number Good adjustment on the pass by the senior Russin. Came down with it, 45 yards. With 2.47 left in the contest. And that's good to see that senior get involved with this passing contest, as, uh, passing offense, as they're going to need a couple of more receivers to join Brian Williams to give another threat. And uh, nice to see that senior made a nice catch at the five yard line, brought it in. Madursky now with the extra point. That's straight through, and it's 34 3. Warriors, 247 left in this contest. So very happy to see that from a Warrior fan perspective. Riley Russell has been working hard to be that second receiver. Got the opportunity there. Um, actually had a like stop on his route, wait for it to come down, but got a nice position. And then once he, once he secured it, ran in five yards. The rest of the other five yards for the touchdown, 45 yards. And I'll go down as a Passing touchdown for Dominic DeLuca and the first, I believe, receiving reception touchdown for Riley Russell for the Warriors. 34 to 12. Kind of a weird part to describe. I mean, when you got that kind of talent on the uh, Warriors side, you can make those big plays. And 34 3 game didn't always look like that, that level of margin, uh, all contest, but it looks like we're, we're about to win.